Total of 1 billion shillings a kilometer roads. This a question being asked by the Sunday Standard. Is this value for money? Exactly how much does it cost to build a modern road? 380 billion Mombasa on Arabia Expressway is the story here. It's to be funded by the U.S. Joins emerging league of 1 billion per kilometer roads, increasingly being criticized by economic analysts. This must, let me begin with you. You always say that development should be disruptive. Should it, should it be this disruptive, 1 billion a kilometer? Well, it should be disruptive, but I'm not in terms of uh, cost. And uh, Ben, incidentally, the year 2013, I did research on uh, the cost of doing uh, roads in Kenya. And then the figures were very shocking. In 2013, it was uh, 83 million to do an average road, seven meters in, uh, in Kenya. All right. While in Ethiopia, it was 34 million, and the DRC was uh, 20 million. So that's 2013. And if you go through this story done by Vincent, it's now gone to it's now gone up to 181 million, so almost 100 million on top of uh, the cost in uh, 2013. Yeah. And then when I was doing my investigations, I did ask why is there a big difference? And of course, when you speak to road engineers, they'll tell you there's the issue of uh, topography, there's the issue of the professional fee, and uh, the quality of material. Yes. There are, there are very few engineers who will admit that there is a corruption in the road construction. And that's the reason why Kenyans, for some reason, or actually I think the entire of Africa, have got very high appetite for Chinese contractors. Because outside the normal cost makeup, there is the cost of corruption which is uh, captured. And that's why you see lately, majority of African countries don't want to do business with the West. They want to cut deals with uh, China, where there is normally an incentive for corruption. So if you're going to have a development program which is uh, disruptive, let it be disruptive, but serve the people's interest. And um, we shouldn't allow our public officers, when they're coming up with the cost build-up of infrastructure projects, yes. to capture corruption. And if you look at the cost of these roads, there's a very high chance that up to 50% goes to corruption. All right. Mark, uh, the CS in charge of transport, James Marshall, was quoted saying, you can go to a shop and find one suit costing 10,000 shillings, and you go to a second one to find another suit costing a million shillings. You need to look at the road designs first. Does this make sense for you? Uh, it makes some sense. And by some sense, I mean, I mean that it's true that there is a six-lane road and there is a two-lane road, and that would make a difference. However, I think we also need to face up to the fact that Swazuri's commission was recently indicted for the very simple reason that uh, the inflated costs of buying land uh, due to the S uh, SGR. And as Dismas has correctly pointed out, the, the corruption that happens when it comes to building infrastructure in this country is quite ridiculous. And I'll give you an example. There is word that uh, Ketrakov, when it was trying to uh, build uh, the, the high uh, energy pylons across certain areas of this country, right. that uh, officials of the land commission would buy land and then triple or quadruple or even a hundred times uh, make the price higher than it was right. so that they could be the beneficiaries of said corruption. One of the biggest challenges, in fact, um, the, the, the construction of the road uh, near James Geshuru has, saved, has suffered uh, the same fate, okay. where unscrupulous individuals want to inflate the cost of land yes. so that now it becomes expensive for the government to buy that. And that is a factor of, of corruption. Then let's also not forget where we source our materials and how we get those materials and who is doing what and the professional fees. So at the end of the day, we have to admit that there is a corruption challenge. Right. These costs can be lower despite our topography because if we were to argue topography, then Ethiopia should be just as expensive. Uh, large swaths of the Rift Valley reside in in Ethiopia. So Ethiopia has the same physical challenges as Kenya, right. but